They will see you and they will not believe that it is you. AJ Wilson, it was a message sandwich heaven. Hallelujah. Tomorrow by this time, God will make a way. Oh, tomorrow by this time, God will make. I say, tomorrow by this time, God will make a way. Tomorrow. Thank you. So she said, You expect me to do it on the cheek. But the mama on Sulia. And this woman, you could realize that this woman, everything that she did, she was upon her knees. She was in a state of worship, a state of appreciation, a state of humility, a state of prostration, a state of giving it all. He said, you see, I cannot stand eyeball to eyeball with my Savior. He's so righteous. He's so holy. Despite the fact that now I am free, he's still holy. You see, sometimes the church, we become so pompous. And we think that we are like God. Oh, is somebody hearing me? Uh, especially we Pentecostals and charismatic people. Sometimes we can stand in the face of God. Well, God, if you don't do that, how dare you? He's the almighty God. He's the creator. He's the sovereign God. We cannot stand eyeball to eyeball. He said, come, 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 come boldly. But that doesn't mean that go in pride. But come to the mercy seat in all humility. That I know that you are the greatest God. I know that I need this money. Please give it to me. But it is even all right. Oh, is somebody hearing me? Let me hear me, hear me, hear But I want a child. They raise a name, mum, no, my whoop, on your home, mum. Zaw, whoop, no, my whoop, and your day on your because the will of God will bring you peace. Hallelujah. So this woman humbled herself, surprised everybody, not kissing Jesus on the cheek, but started kissing the feet, the lowest, the most dirtiest thing. She was prepared to do that, showed love and affection. That if I could kiss for money, now I'm kissing for free. Oh, hallelujah. I'm finishing right now. Time is going. Finally, finally, the woman came to where she had originally planned. She said, you know what? If you didn't anoint his head, you're always asking to anoint my head with oil so that my cup will run over. But this woman said, no. He's so mighty. I cannot anoint his head. Now, you see, in that part of the world, alabaster perfume or box is a very expensive thing. Pastor will tell you he has studied a lot. Now, some parents buy that perfume for their daughters. For their daughters to keep until their wedding day. That on that wedding day, when you are all ready, when the pastor has prayed long and Oh, they exchange your vow. Now, you know, when you're so free, I just wasting my time. Let me go. <laughs> I know that for sure. And then you get to your room. That is when you break it. Because when you break it, you cannot put it back. And then you put it here. And then you cry. And then you cry. Some other parts. So that the fragrance in the room will change. And when the fragrance in the room changes, <laughs> when the fragrance comes in the room, everything changes. Oh, is somebody here with me? The guy knows what I am talking about. When that, that is why married women, every evening, please take a shower nicely. Uh, Pastor, let me say this one. Uh-huh. What is not good is to go to bed without taking a shower. Please, if you do that, stop today. I know that I am blessing some man in the house. Your husband doesn't like it, but he can't say it. But me being a pastor, I have the freedom to say it. Hallelujah. Amen. So that the environment in the room can change. Some women are killing their husbands. Hey, what my young can you free? One more say myself for Johnny and son. Amen. So you use it to invite 
your husband to you. It's, 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 it's a thing of attraction. It's something that draws your husband to you. So the woman had it. Not only for marriage. But that was her business capital. Is somebody hearing me? That was her business capital. Because she has to carry it in her back. So the moment hers is not at home. Other women have theirs in their trunk and their, what is this? Uh -huh. Airtight thing. Theirs are there. But as for her, she had to carry hers with her. Why? Because that's her capital. She had to expend it to get customers. And he said, as for today, I have received the best customer ever in my life. Oh, is somebody here today? Jesus is the best thing that can ever happen to you. If Jesus is not the best, then I don't know. Now you don't have to be here. I say, you know what? Today I will break this box. Today I will break it. Though it is my capital. Though it is a symbol of my future. Because of what this man has done in my life. I will show my greatest appreciation. By breaking this bottle here. By breaking this box. And I will pour it. Not upon his head. Because he's higher he is greater. He is more valuable than me. But I will take the most precious thing of my life. Hallelujah. Not upon his head. But upon his feet. That I. I am not worthy. But I only bow before you. She broke the boss. And poured it. Upon his feet. Oh wow. The fragrance. Changed. <laughs> Simon didn't know what to do. The other people there didn't know what to do. Everybody was confused. So, whoa, what is going on here? Then Jesus rose. Oh, Jesus rose. And he started to speak. Oh, hallelujah. You see, when the greatest treasure is given to the Lord, the Lord cannot stay still. When your greatest treasure, when you give your soul to Jesus, when you give your life to Jesus, when you give your precious treasure to Jesus, God cannot stand. He would have to rise up and do something on your behalf. Jesus rose. He was sitting with his knee at the back. But when that happened, he could not sit. Today, as you appreciate God and appreciate this man of God, appreciate him till he cannot sit down. Appreciate him till he will stand up and say, God Almighty, may you meet the needs of these people. The woman had the need of sin. So when Jesus rose up, he said, Simon, I've been here. You didn't shake me. You didn't wash my feet. You didn't wipe my feet. You didn't anoint me. But ever since I entered, this woman has not stopped washing my feet. Has not stopped wiping my feet. Has not stopped anointing me. Woman, your sins I am here to let you understand that as you show appreciation to God, as you show appreciation to the man of God, the greatest need in your life will be met. I don't know what your need is, but whatever need that you have, so far as you are in the presence of Almighty God and telling him that he's the only one that you love and that the man of God is the man that God has given you, your need will be met. May 2015 be a year of power, a year of increase, a year of enlargement, a year of development, a year of extension. You see, you don't sit down and receive this kind of prophecy. A year of good health, a year of divine breakthrough, a year of uncommon favor, a year of spiritual prosperity. A year of righteousness, a year of holiness, a year of grace, and a year of love. May the favor of God come upon you to appreciate Jehovah God and appreciate the man of God. Break your alabaster box. Amen.
Hallelujah.